this afternoon I'm going to tackle something that's been on our job list for quite some time and that is changing the oil and the oil filter on our trusty little Honda 10 horsepower outboard. So there's really three key steps. Um, the first is we need to warm the engine and the oil in the engine and to do that I'm just going to put this little clamp on so that's step one. Uh, we let the engine get the temperature, oil get the temperature and then drain the oil, that's step two. And then the third step is replacing the, the oil filter. So this is the oil filter. Um, this third step is a little bit more complicated and I'm not sure how it's going to go. The reason this third step is going to be hard is because it's not covered in the owner's manual. The owner's manual only details how to, uh, to change the engine oil. It doesn't cover how to actually access the oil filter. It took some time but I found an older version of the manual. Um, it had one paragraph to describe how to do it and it really just said to remove this right uh, side engine cover and there are six screws to remove so I think I've found the six screws to remove and that's how we'll get into it but it's not very helpful that the engine manual doesn't detail how to change the oil filter. Step one is to get this little thing around the propeller or the inlets uh, and get the engine to temperature. Start it, which is going to be a tricky thing because normally I'm in the dinghy. The important thing is that you can see water coming out of here, which means that we're flushing fresh water through the engine, and it's very good to flush fresh water through the engine because it gets rid of all of the salt that's built up there over time. So I've taken the engine cover off so I can feel the oil filter to see if the oil filter is warm and I can feel that the oil filter is warm so the oil is at temperature now so we can shut the engine down and we'll drain the oil. To drain the oil we just have to undo this screw here, um, which is straightforward. Uh, but the big challenge with this job today is that if you drop anything, you're never going to see it again. So a, tri a trick that I hope is going to work is that I've put a hole through this bottle here. So as I undo the screw, it should just fall into the bottle. <clears throat> and I can fish it out later. There we go. The engine holds roughly a litre of oil, so um, hopefully this is big enough. Um, let's put that in there and undo, undo this, which is the, so it can breathe. There we go, look at that. Well, oh, that oil is nice and hot. So I'm only using a 1.5 litre bottle here, so <laughs> I hope that I've got enough. So step one, successful. Uh, we didn't lose the drain screw in the water. Got all the oil out, it didn't spill any oil in the water, and uh, yeah, pretty happy with how that went. On to step two. I need like a little bucket or something. Alyssa wasn't able to film because I needed her help. She had a little uh, little net down below in case we dropped any of the screws. So we didn't drop anything, which is good. Um, I've never seen this side of the outboard before. It looks good. Now all we have to do is take the the uh, the filter off. So we use this little bad boy, 
it's just a case of getting some tension and then uh, always have a hard time with this thing even on our big engines so I never quite know which way to turn righty tidy lefty loosey do you think that's the way it works no comment from Alyssa <laughs> No, I think that's tightening it. Let's go this way. <coughs> I did just get some movement then. Here is not working, so I'm gonna try with these. Ah, there we go. So now that that's loose, get our trusty oil cloth. Bugger. So you can see where the oil filter goes. Um, so now what we do is we put the new oil filter back on. Uh, and this is the easy part. Um, it just goes on like that and we screw it on. Uh, yeah, we should probably get the right part number for that. I don't know if there is a part number. No. No. <laughs> no part number. Um, so the only trick here is they say that you should lightly lubricate the gasket so you get a nice clean finish. So this is the new engine oil we'll put back in when we're all done. So this is just a dab a finger in here and mm. finger stuck put the lid back on this for now so we don't drop it Just screw it in with oily hands. It's really easy. So, ideally, we would have a torque wrench to know how tight to tighten this, but similar to the, the job on the Yanmars, I just do it just hand tightening, really, and that's, that's enough. Well, that's a bit slippery, so we might use the this little fella. There we go. Good to go. So now we just put everything back together. Don't drop any screws in the water and cross your fingers when we started. Oh, we put oil in there as, as well. We might do that now. We'll put some oil in there. Um, we've got a funnel. Success. Not a drop of oil spilled there. Didn't even need to use the funnel. The manual said that uh, I needed a just over a liter of oil if I was changing the filter as well and we'd obviously change the filter so my guess is that when we look at the dipstick it's going to say that it's just under where it should be so so the idea is that for it to be half marks between those two dots and we're at full which is good, but my guess is that the oil hasn't had a chance to filter through the engine and to fill
fill up the oil filter so I reckon when we crank the engine over um, that'll be probably just a bit below what we need. Fingers crossed. Make sure the fuel switch is off. This did my first oil change and filter change of a Honda BF10 outboard. And you didn't lose any bits in the water. No, but you did catch a few bits with your little net. That's great. Yeah, so we need to buy some more oil. I think.